I don't want to pause to edit that r right now. I was right in the middle of that. Three minutes is not long enough. They're working on cosmic rays and I'm picturing the Star Wars guns, how they don't use bullets. They don't use ammunition. It is a laser gun, right? Okay. That, cause it's $5 billion and I don't know where I cut off. So let me just repeat this real quick. $5 billion in this magnet doing research when there are children starving and we're running out of clean water. And why is, why are they using so much electricity when we have an energy problem? I'm, <sighs> priorities people, priorities. Okay, neutrinos. So this data is going to be open for discoveries, publication. They are looking at dark matters. This is, they're going to, somebody could take this information and figure out how to make the invisible visible. I'm picturing um, hospital machines that check your chakras and see your energy fields. Um, this Higgs boson, the things that keeps things together, it's the Higgs boson birthday, in case you didn't know that, July 4th. Um, okay, before I get into the positives, actually, because it gets pretty good, and I'd like to end on a high note, let me talk about the last time they ran this was 2020. Set off a new timeline. We're in a new dimension. <laughs> and you know what? Didn't it happen? 2016, wait, 2012 they did it. 2010, 2012. Oh, great. Both the years my kids were born. Of course they did. Uh, then there was the 2018, 20. Like, people blame this technology, this machine, on alternate timelines and time lapses and dimensions, multiverse, Marvel stuff. Okay, let me get back to my notes. The animals. One of the last times they did it, there's a smaller one elsewhere too. Let me tell you that one first. A team of raccoons, raccoons, a team had a calculated plan to, <laughs> oh my God, I hope they have footage of this. This is one of those places at CERN that you have to have, like they scan your iris stuff, like that kind of technology. A team of raccoons went in and messed up the wires. Like if animals are trying to stop this, then maybe we should stop this on accounts of the energy use, of the s sucking our resources. Um, a team of raccoons cut the wire somewhere, through, broke the machine. This machine's been on um, maintenance all of, through all of 2020. A bird dropped a baguette on a control panel this, it sounds so far-fetched, doesn't it? And then a fween that's like a weasel or like a marmot uh, chew some wires. They found like the dead remains of this fween because it electrocuted itself chewing the wires, which if anybody has rodents, <laughs> you know what it's like, like in our family. We said, Phil, he's a rabbit. He chews wires. He's broken a couple things. We get it. So we're like, okay, let's stop this thing from happening and throwing us off the orbit of our solar system and throwing off our gravity. 
let's stop this from happening and send our bunny Phil because he will choose the wires. Okay, anyways. So what are we really looking for here? What is this about? Why are we trying to see the neutrinos? Uh, making the invisible visible. So they, you could potentially be able to see love, to see souls, to physically look at with technology that reads the energy surrounding things and in things. What if you can see magic? You can see power and healing. Physically see it. But then I'm just picturing like a scientific room, like a sterile hospital scientific place to see it. I don't know. But these are very connected in the, with astronomy, astrophysics, cosmology. I wish he would have got into that question further. They're looking at the decomposition of dark matter. And I want, I don't want you to be afraid of dark matter. It's just that like all of us have it. It's just the parts that you can't see. It's the parts that are what makes you you fundamentally, fundamental physics. So that is what I have for you. Oh, wait, here's my other notes. Meditation. What if you could see if your meditation is working, what if you could see that beam of light that you picture coming into your top head chakra? Uh, I lost words. <laughs> when, you know, when you're connected, what if you can see that? What if you can see the love in a hug. Okay. So let's pull some cards. I, these are cards that I don't use very often. I felt like today, this shift of energy, this, um, Oh, that was the other thing. This is the portal with our North Star. This is our um, connection to Sirius with the... I'm just saying they're opening portals and dimensions. They're looking at things that we can't, I don't want to say can't comprehend because it's like things that we all know. What if they can see heaven? What if they can see souls and spirits and spirit energies with machines, with science? Yeah, that's where I'm not getting the the connection. Okay. So the sacred traveler oracle cards where we have today, protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. You are cherished by the angels. What if they open a portal that lets our guardian angels just boop, pop back up? 
they, I keep saying they, but I also want to say we, like we as a witch's coven collective. What if we could do the same research that they're doing just without $5 billion? Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Of course we can. Spirit of place. Spirit of place. What if you walked into the cemetery and could see everybody hanging out with them? <gasps> Wait, that was that movie. That was that. There was a Disney movie. What if we're not meant to see that world? Here's a recommended reading for this journey. <gasps> it's a cat. I mean. <laughs> okay, so I thought it was going to be a recommended reading because I thought this was a deck of authors. That's okay. I'm not mad about it. I'm really glad um, to have cats. I was thinking about them a lot during this CERN uh, live because, because Cyrus was cuddling with me. Because cats know when we're connected. Cats, animals feel when we're in tune with nature, you know? Um, the trees know when you're there. Your flowers know when you're checking them out. <laughs> okay, we have Sandra Cisner Cisneros, the body, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google her. Well, let's find out about this witchy writing goddess. Will do. Well, this gave me some homework, I think. I thought I was like, I thought my brain was gonna be off the clock now. Oh, wait, here's the other. I know, I wanted to end on a happier note, but I didn't talk about the radiation protection team. When I was talking about all the pros of this, I was like, what was I worried about? These are all good things that they're doing. And then again, circling back, radiation. This thing puts off a ton of radiation under our feet. That makes me real uncomfortable. Um, while I'm talking about what's going on under our earth, why don't I go ahead and mention um, coal mines and oil rigs and fracking. I'm not comfortable with any of that. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. We are the witches. We speak for the leaves. <laughs> we'll work on that. 